Hi, I'm Batu for a brief in Cal. In this video, let's take a look at DSP Quant Fund. The NFO is currently open, and this uh, they say is a rule-based uh, uh, fund, hence the name Quant Fund. And uh, let's have a look at this. And the moment people uh, say uh, hear the word Quant Fund, they say, "Oh, Quant Fund! Is that that's exciting? Well, there's an, let's let's have a look at it." So the first thing I look at when uh, I see a mutual fund, the first thing I look at is the product label. This is a thematic fund and therefore if you look at the risk meter right there, uh, it's higher than what, uh, the kind of risk uh, that's uh, typically assigned to a diversified equity fund. And this fund is what uh, a quant fund as defined uh, in their scheme, uh, in, uh, scheme document is that this is a factor based fund which means that they will look at a set of factors like growth, like value, like alpha, volatility, um, etc. And they will create a index or they will create a portfolio uh, based on those factors and those factors alone hence the name quant fund and they will create a portfolio out of that. Now the problem immediately I have with this is that the nifty has got multi-factor indices based very similar to what this funds uh, strategy is i have talked about it in a uh, in uh, in a great detail you can have a look at this index investing video on uh, for uh, on that i have uh, and this is available for i'll show you uh, for example yeah this is the multi-factor uh, uh, document so these are the factors that the NSE uses. These are alpha, quality, value, low volatility, and they are. Uh, and essentially, the NSE will uh, create a score. So what it will do is to first it will decide what are the factors to be taken: alpha alone, or alpha and quality, or quality and value, or alpha and low volatility. However, on or you can combine three or four: uh, alpha, quality, value, low and low volatility. There's an index on that, and then you will create. Um, a score based on these factors giving different weights for example I will give let's say 40% uh, weightage to alpha 30% weightage to quality or whatever depends on how I build it um, depends on how I back test it of course people will back test it and look and take values which are favorable and so on so they will create a score uh, based on this and uh, uh, so all the indices which uh, which get the top marks top 30 or top 50 or however way you want to do it you create an index with it this is essentially how the uh, nifty has created multi-factor indices and these multi-factor indices have done quite well uh, uh, they have bet uh, nifty 100 nifty 200 nifty 50 all of them are the bottom three here and these are the multi-factor indices uh, the green one is a nifty alpha quality value low uh, low volatility 30 the yellow one is a nifty alpha uh, low volatility 30 and you have the blue ones there you can uh, look at the screen so that's um, so it's 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 fairly well known there's nothing new that this fund is saying but my big problem is I uh, for the impression I get is that this fund is trying to uh, sell itself as an actively managed quant fund where is the active management here which means the expense ratio is likely to be high this there's a there's a nice neat index available uh, in the NSE and uh, clearly they have uh, they have uh, uh, utilized uh, um, uh, I think they have utilized this the results from this wallpaper you can uh, this nifty sorry white paper not wallpaper <laughs> nifty white paper <laughs> uh, for their uh, research I'll show you the similarity uh, uh, in a moment uh, so. So what is uh, there's nothing special about it. Of course, there there. Uh, if you look at the scheme document, it will say they are using growth. This is the quant fund screen document. Growth, quality, value. They are using these, and they will have a um, what they will call as a. They have the BSE 200 as the investment universe, and this is the five steps involved. They will first uh, start with the BSE 200. Then they will say I have certain uh, scre uh, screeners based on quality reporting. Uh, credit risk etc and get rid of some funds and then they will take uh, this uh, three qu quality growth and value and then uh, create the objective score that I told you and uh, create the portfolio and then they say they will have some kind of uh, optimizer and so on and whatever it is it's anyway some uh, uh, mumbo jumbo that's not clear so it's not nothing to be impressed about when something is not clear it's not be impre get impressed with it 
clearly scheme documents are meant to be unclear that's the whole idea so uh, es- essentially my point i'm trying to make is that there is an index already available with it and these guys are claiming if you look at why i say that there's a similarity if you look at the you look at this um, uh, this is the this is the quant fund and they're saying from september 2005 to march 2019 quant model has given 17% whereas bsc 200 has given 5% less nifty 55% less and so on all right that is all fine notice how some, the the numbers are all, i mean the formatting is similar i think they have, they have used nse in my opinion uh, i mean that's my opinion they, i could be wrong the nifty multi factor also has got a similar uh, data uh, based on this they have uh, let me show you uh, i don't have this maybe i have it somewhere here doesn't matter so let me show you so these are the nifty multi factor i'll show you the nifty uh, uh, nifty ma- strategy if you go to the nse page and strategy indices you will see the nifty multi factor there i have talked about it earlier i will show you the performance of the nifty multi factors the latest fact sheets so you can see that since inception it's got 17% the nifty alpha quality low volatility 30 the alpha quality uh, uh, without the value this is 19% and then quality low volatility is 18% and so on so if you uh, and this is 20% alpha and low volatility is 20% so these are comparable and if you notice that's that's essentially my point is the the point is that the the uh, indices that are already available in the nsc have given a performance comparable to this quant model proposed by dsp or even better sometimes and uh, they claim that the quant model falls lower than the index that is also fine so my point is it should have been uh, sold as an index fund dsp quant index fund or dsp multi factor index fund then then you can sit up and take note yeah okay here is a low cost way to try and beat the index based on factor based investing then i will i don't see any mention of low expenses here i don't think this is an index fund uh this is an actively managed mutual fund and my point is that there is no need for it to be uh showcased as an actively managed quant fund where the quant model is given by is is in house developed by dsp there is already quant mo- model available at nsc and all they have to do is just um track that and create a nice index fund or etf index fund with it that's that's all that they have to do so um i don't see anything spectacularly special uh, about this we'll have to naturally wait and watch how this fund performs and what is the expense ratio mainly uh then only we can take a call on what this is and so on so my advice is don't get oh quant model don't get suddenly uh, uh, fa- uh, 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 fantasies about all these quant models that quite simple you can create your own quant model in about 2 hours if you sit and do it you know, it's not a big deal actually so don't get um, um impressed by all this uh, see if you are still impressed with an nfo you need to seriously grow up so, uh, i cannot imagine how many people take sit and take notice of nfos and the other problem i have with this fund is and they say that look they say see uh investors who want a well diversified large cap core portfolio well if that is the case why do you call it a thematic fund i mean i, I don't understand that is it's bizarre and they say you are you they must invest for a minimum 7 year horizon please how many people have a 7 year uh, patience and they have uh, said somewhere in this document that if the stock rally is not based on fundamentals then this model will underperform yeah well we have been having a rally where there is absence of fundamentals for the last few years so <laughs> uh, so uh, so please be careful uh don't get impressed with all these uh, mumbo jumbos i have told you how to pick your how to uh, choose stocks without breaking your head in that video i had mentioned that you can take these kind of multi factor indices the whole idea of choosing a multi factor indices the, i mean the cyclicity will uh, sometimes uh, value stocks will do well sometimes growth stocks will do well but if you combine the factors then you have much better consistent performance so i've told you in that video uh if you take this kind of an index and look at the top 10 stocks and track them you uh, you you are essentially going to create your own stock portfolio which is um, which is less expensive you have much more better control of it i i believe instead of investing in this kind of a quant model this people who are serious about investing in uh, uh factor based stocks should 
factor based investing as a style should consider this and this personally this is what i am doing i'm slowly trying to build a stock portfolio based on factor based models my main main factor is low volatility as you all know i'm a fan of that so uh, that's what i am trying to do I, i will certainly not invest in this fund i strongly believe that you should not invest in fund, in this fund unless it's given enough time to perform let's wait and watch especially look at the expense ratio and then you can always take a call stop for god's sake stop getting carried away by nfo uh, marketing this is uh, immature all right so i'll see you now in the video bye bye